and welcome to my video my name is Ken Atigari now in my previous video in the last one I showed you how to use um, Excel drop downs that are dependent one on another and I showed you how to do this using the indirect substitute function and the name range now in this video I'm going to show you how to create such dependent lists using the if function if function is pretty easy to use but when you've got so much data like you've got here it's quite clunky so for so much data I would advise you use um, the indirect function but if it's something that is few data quick build then you use the if function now let's start let's go come over to region go to data validation create list sorry allow list the source is this okay then we come over the country we could do this and then start using the if function here but the problem we might have uh, is that since it's a long list you know, we might not be able to control it easily here because it's got a very limited window space to write in and besides when you close in your brackets because it doesn't have IntelliSense to tell you it's enough you might not know the exact um, the exact time to close your brackets so instead we're going to use the Excel window itself to create a function then copy and paste into um, the country uh, value there. So let's start equal to if if this this should actually be uh, not a worry it should be okay let's go back if this f4 is equal to this f4 then is this value F4 if this F4 is equal to this F4 and use this value F4 if in case you wonder what I'm saying when I say F4 F4 is the uh, shortcut key to lock your, um, your 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 formula here so that it's it's um, how do you call this now it it doesn't change it's constant so if this is equal to Europe F4 then work with this values F4 if this F4 again is equal to this F4, then the values from North America, the US, and Canada F4. If not, you're going to use, have um, a value saying select or please select select value then close now this one I'm saying if we're using the data validation window we won't be able to see um, when it closes so now we've got this we're going to pull this formula copy come in here data validation create list source is we call this close All right okay don't worry about this this is occurring because um, we didn't select the value in region so I'm going to come out of this go to region select this one go in here again list source Oh. 
five. So now change the laundry rate and click when it's Africa, sorry. When it's Middle East, you have another set of values. When it's Europe, you have another set of values. Right. Okay. So let's take it one step further as a third dependent list. Over here, we then say if, let's write our formula here, or if this lock it spice equal to mm, it's equal to UK F4 then is I just start from the first term so I don't confuse ourselves. If this is equal to it's equal to this then use these values sorry but let me take it off use these values lock if this is equal to this then we use these values if This equal to sorry if this is equal to this then use these values if this Equal to, you can see how very tiresome this is. Let's just try getting to the end. I don't think I'm going to try this again. Equal to this. If, well, this is equal to this. Let me use this value. If this equal to this, hope our data validation window window can take all of this formula. Then we use okay, that's complete. If this is equal to oops equal to this use these values and finally if this equal to this then we use this value If false, we select party. Let's close the brackets. So it's perfect here. If we're done this in and um we've done this using well using the data validation window to be really difficult. So copy escape over here data validation data validation list equal to paste okay right so we can affect some changes here 
right? So you see how um, definitely not easy, how difficult it is to use the if function, but how possible it is to use the if function for your dependent drop down lists. But I, I, I'm going to advise you to always try to use your named ranges. Uh, you can find your named ranges by coming over here, name manager, define name, and then use that. Um, thank you for watching this video, and please do join me for the next video. Thanks. Bye bye.